Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Health. Guys, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to implement custom maximize button in FXML based project. Right here you can see the example. This is undecorated stage and we have a minimize button and maximize button. So I have implemented the two things here in this example. So you will learn the iconify this stage and you can restore this stage of its maximum size or you can come back to the same size let me show you so first one is iconified so the stage is iconified and restored here once you click that will be restored now once you click on this maximize button so this stage will uh, cover the complete screen of your desktop once you click back on this so that will restore its original position okay so we will see the implementation of these two things here in this example this is very easy let's get started let me close this first and here is the my uh, ready-made project that i have created to demonstrate to you and this is the simple fxml based project we have one fxml one controller file okay and uh, one class which has a start method okay guys and uh, i'm using two images uh, for the maximize and minimize that uh, you have seen here on this stage on decorated stage so what we have done let me show you the fxml first so you will get the uh, complete idea so this is my prerequisite setup so what we have used we have used one anchor pen here and then we have used this is the v box and uh, we just clicked on this v box uh, right click and fit to parent so it has acquired the parent structure okay after that i have used one h box because when you put some uh, controls like button on this button uh, we will do click so the stage will maximize and acquire the complete screen okay so that's why we are using the h box inside the v box so it grows horizontally okay and uh, here i am using one button for the minimize so let me show you so i have assigned the fx id to this button minimize and uh, one action handler method is uh, connected to this button so handle min button action method okay the same way uh, we have used the second button so for the maximize this stage so max button is the fx id of this button and uh, this is the action handler method inside the controller for this button so this is the setup for implement these functionalities okay so and i'm taking you inside the netbeans ide and here we will see the code so we are inside the controller file directly it's very easy just focus on the main code section so here's the fx id for the first button max button and this is the fx id for the main button and uh, we have assigned the fx id to this uh, anchor pen because uh, we have to use the object of a stage object inside the control that's why we have given the fx id to this anchor pan okay and this is the first action handler method for uh, the button main button that will uh, iconify this stage so code is very straightforward so come here on this first line uh, so what we are doing we are trying to get the stage object on uh, once we get the stage object so we will uh, call this method set iconify true why because uh, we are going to click on this uh, minimize button let me show you so this is the fxml this is the minimize button okay right now no image is appearing you can set the image here as well in the fxml or you can do it with the help of code so i will show you i have uh, used the code to set the image on these buttons so once that min button is pressed so this code will execute so we will get the stage object and then we will use set iconify true to minimize to minimize stage okay 
and now in the same way we have another method handle max button action and here in this uh, line we are obtaining the stage object once we got it so exactly what we have to do first we are going to check if a stage is maximized that means you have a two events like uh, first you have clicked your stage is maximized now again you want to click the same button and that will come to its original position okay that's why we are using this is maximized method so this method will check is maximized if a stage is maximized it will return true so we will do a stage dot set maximized false that means you have again clicked on the maximized button okay then what we have to do we have to restore this stage on its original shape if it is not maximized if you are going to press it first time so else will execute that means you want to maximize your stage so stage dot set maximized true so that will maximize your stage perfectly let me run this example so you will correlate this code this is very easy here we go this is our stage but this is undecorated stage so you cannot move this if you want to make this movable so you will see my uh, another tutorial on this so you can uh, take that code and integrate with this example so you will get the custom maximize minimize close button with the movable stage okay let me show you the first code this is the method to iconify this stage that means we are going to minimize let me click on this see this so stage is minimized and uh, come here in the taskbar now again we will click it will come to its original shape initial shape okay now we have the second button so in this second button we have done the conditional coding so once we click on this so the else method will execute and once we click on this button again that means we are going to check is maximized is true so what it will do it will restore it in its original position that means your if code is executed so guys this is the way you can use maximize button in your fxml based project i hope this concept is clear to you if still you have any doubt so please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible and guys if you found this video useful so please share with your friends as well and uh, like this video and guys please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool idea help